Firstly, it's important to realise that uh, the monument uh, is a nationally significant building. Um, it's really the first monument to Robert Burns. A, a group of uh, individuals really uh, formed a, a small trust and by public subscription uh, they were able to raise enough money to build this monument. Uh, the work really started from uh, about 1819 and it took to 1823 to build. It was designed by uh, Thomas Hamilton, who was a very famous architect latterly. This is his first public commission. He decided to waive his fee, he actually donated his fee to the actual monument funds uh, as, a, as his own recognition. The, the monument took about four years to build and it was full of uh, a Grecian uh, iconography uh, relating to poetry, to music, all the things that Burns was interested in. Uh, and it's said that uh, an 18th century, 19th century gentleman would be able to read the monument, read all the iconography quite easily. It's got nine columns uh, that represents the, the nine muses. It's right in the heart of uh, Burns' country, really right close to his birthplace but also um, Brigadoon is right across there. Although the building has been well looked after, uh, it is in need of significant repair. The, the domes of the building are designed to shed water. Unfortunately now, uh, after all that weathering, uh, there are cracks in the joint and water is tending to, to flow into the building rather than off it. Uh, it's becoming very damp and that's uh, having its effect on the, the fantastic masonry, fantastic carvings and so on. So a couple of years ago, we carried out all the surveys to work out what needed to be done to the building. But now we're fundraising. Uh, we need to raise 350,000 uh, pounds. We're quite well there. In fact, we've had tremendous response from uh, our um, USA and Canadian foundations raising money, but also locally but we have a final push through our Great Scots appeal to, to try and raise the money to help repair this monument. Mm -hmm.